stage, but same goes for both, so. I feel like the platforms are going to be more a saving grace for Hikaru than they are going to be for Rivers. I feel like it's going to be harder for Rivers to land. This is a hand warmer, too. God, these guys are taking forever. You want to make sure everything's optimal for this match, because yeah. it's going to be high stakes, high end, high octane. Do you see these quick turnaround up airs from River? River? It's crazy. Oh, Ooh, fancy. Okay. They're getting fancy, dude. The car's not trying to be fancy. No. He just flare blitz. And he's doing it for Earth. Shout out to Earth. I don't know if he means Earth the planet or Earth the player. I think it's up to interpretation. I feel like it's both. Yeah. I think I think that you can it can be for whichever you would like it to be. That's a good point. <laughs> Alright, man. We're gonna finally get back yeah, into it. Game one, town and city. I'm interested to see. I, I'm not a betting man, but if I were, I would be betting that when the platforms aren't there, Rivers is going to have a better time. I can see that. Like I said, I think we're both making good points of like who benefits most often. I think that's why we went to the stage. Yeah, that, I mean that is probably the reason that it's the most neutral. I like this neutral car he's playing. There's really. the F tilts. The F tilt like kind of sucks you in a little bit. You can usually get grabs out of it, but it's so good. Yeah, yeah. that early percent, you get that quick F tilt into the grab, and higher percent sitting into that tech situation, and the fact that F tilt his tail is intangible for no reason. Oh, falling up air. And Rivers is really, really good at you know taking one hit and turning it into a lot more. Yeah, his ad Rivers of Man State is so scary. Once you get that hit, you just feel like you're so trapped. Yeah, the co the combo game is really on point for him. And it's edge trapping from Rivers is another thing he's been known for. Yeah. He just puts people on the ledge and you don't get to leave. And the jab is so non-committal that Rivers gets the jab and kind of cover your normal getup or jump getup, kind of wait to react to what you're actually doing. And it hits and then, the low ledge. Yeah, and if it does hit, then he gets that, you know, attack cancel back air. And then you die. Yeah, there's a there's good debate for problems uh, jabbing probably the best in the game. Oh, gets that there it up. is. Really close, though. Are we going to get the three? F smash. Yeah, big F smash. Didn't even have to do that. Could have gone for an up smash. Could have gone for anything else. But I think he could have forward tilted to the left. He might have killed him, but who knows. Either way, the F smash was yeah. the right option. And Rivers has been doing a great job of not having to up B to the ledge. Yeah, like you're saying, he plays prom. He knows that if he up Bs, then that'll happen. Gets yeah. that down tilt and we need to send him away. Yeah, this uh, lead traffic from Rivers, so good. Gets that first down here. Not going to get the full conversion, but still 41% for one grab. It's still respectable damage. Gets that falling up here is so crucial with Prom. Yeah. This would be a huge win for Hikaru. He lost really, really early in bracket. He, Yeah, he's making this run. He lost, like, winners round two. He lost in pools. Yeah. My other friend who was in that same pool, he was like, Man, I was upset. I was making a really cool loser's run, and then some guy just upset Hikaru. <laughs> oh man, that's always the best. Then you get, then you get to play Hikaru. So, Who's, who wants to complain about that? Exactly. No one complain about this neutral right now. Gets that oh, tech jab chase. Lock. Like you said, that F tilt sends in a tumble, puts out a great tech chase situation. Yeah. Miss that tech, you get that jab. You roll in any direction. As long as you go to react, you're able to get something. And speaking of react, it's that down tilt into the uh, pivot F smash, or F smash, F tilt. Right, gets another falling up air. The advantage state for Rivers has been so good. Hikaru has been doing a really good job of getting a lot of mileage off his hits as well. We got some fans in the background popping off for Hikaru. Is that what he said? I didn't even understand. <laughs> Either way, Hikaru's still looking good. Staying on the Squirtle still. Wants to get a little bit more damage. Yeah, it, the thing is, if he can get Prom off stage with Squirtle out, then he gets to use Water Gun, and that's huge. Back here, though. That's, that's going to be it. That's the struggle of being, uh, you know, third lightest in the game. And right, man, Rivers taking the first game. Still respectful, really, uh, really competitive between the two. Like we said, Hikaru probably staying with the Squirtle because he wanted to get him off stage. The Squirtle is can just dumpster problems recovery through weight. He yeah. up B's squirt gun. If you air dodge the ledge, Hikaru can react, just do that down tilt. What's crazy is that this is actually Pokemon Rivers is like the last major that he was at was Smash and Splash. He got ninth. 
That was, wow. It's been a minute. I did not realize that. Yeah, so he is here at this A tier, potentially getting into the top nine with this match. He's barely just walling out Squirtle. He's literally trying to get in and he's just burying. All right, finally getting that hit. Yeah, the Smashville platform seems really nice for, uh oh. Yeah, oh, like said, the air dodge. dodge. Yeah. It was so ambiguous. What a counter, but. That doesn't even work. Right. That's crazy. The big tech is, you gotta uh -oh. fuck him. Uh oh, oh he's, down dead. Till. he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yep. He didn't even need to do that. Yeah, he could've just ran off and hit him, but. Yeah. Still gets that down here and pour it. All right, these uppers. How the hell are you yeah, gonna land? One more of those up there, and that's gonna do it. There's the back air. Go against that back air, clean stuff. Yeah, quick evening up by Rivers. It's been really back and forth set. Here we go, that's gonna be the first Squirtle jab. Not really reacting to which way he was gonna go. A lot of the Squirtles, you have to react to where that's gonna go uh, once he gets that down air. But at the same time, you can kind of angle it, because uh, whatever side of the down air is getting hit on is the side it'll go to. So you, you kind of want to like angle it when you're doing it. All right, that up B, not gonna hit though. Yeah, that was close though. And you know, kind of the, the Chroma B is so good at you know, don't touch my shield kind of situation, but. Yeah, quick up, be out of shield, 26% for you. Yeah, Hikaru hasn't really been putting himself in a situation where it's been prevalent. I think that's so important too. I like that roll away from uh, from Rivers. Jab, back air, Squirtle, See, not light enough. Yep, caught him jumping. I don't think he wanted that. He, he actually might be gonna go Zard. Oh no, yeah, that's good. From Charizard. What a wait, but he didn't punish it. Oh my gosh, I definitely would have been like holding my breath for there, because you saw, you saw Rivers wait there. He just didn't react fast enough. Right, he's got to be careful here. If he can get water gunned off stage, he's got to win this interaction. And up smash, he takes kill. advantage. Okay, now the Ivy's out. He can actually chill a little bit. Like, he can't get up aired or anything like that. But you can get jabbed. Yeah, that's a. I feel like that's a really good percent window on Ivy Sword for jab back air. And that F tilt, not with the best DI, Hikaru, is going to go down to his last stock in here in game two. That down, that uh, F smash. Yeah, tries to poke him with the down tilt, but not fast enough. Yeah, honestly, it seems like Hikaru should go for the down tilt first and then try to react with the water gun. Because uh, lately he's just been going for the water gun, pushing him, and then he'll air dodge in, but that F smash. Yeah, the, the slight jump back to kind of bait something out, and Rivers took the bait. I like that up B, get off me, quick uh, waterfall. Is that what that move's called, waterfall? Yeah. I guess that makes sense, because that's what it does in, like, climb waterfall. Yeah. Uh-oh. Is that down throw gonna go for back air? Barely missed oh, it. Not yeah. the rock if, he correctly. if he hit that back air, that was that could have been the game. Yeah, would have been really important. Would have sent Rivers really far. No. Uh, he thought he was gonna be able to air dodge sooner. I think. Yeah, he definitely wanted to uh, hit the ledge there. So Hikaru gonna actually even that up at one one. Not really how you want to see the game end, but you know we take those. Oh, we definitely take those. So one one, the counter pick. I didn't see what they picked. Did well, you? Joke's on you, neither did I. Oh, going for the Diddy Whoa. call. I haven't seen this in Smash 4, but I'm excited. And Diddy is still a pretty good character. There are some character specialists out there that are making him work. Dakpo Dak being Ho, one of them, he's here. The one, number one you think of. Diddy Kong, and not the monster he was in Smash 4. He doesn't have that, I'm not gonna lie, that godforsaken down tilt, that horror story of a down tilt. It's still pretty good, though. Yeah, but it's just not as big, and that's the good part. Yeah. It's still Diddy, a force to be reckoned with. He does. He's a juggle machine. He has that down, that dash attack sends you up. Up air is really fast, so you have so much opportunity for juggling. I didn't realize that Rivers still played Diddy. It was what? I didn't realize that he still played Diddy. Me neither, but you know, you feel like a lot of people from Smash 4 coming to Ultimate, they still put a little bit of work into their other characters they right. switch. And I You've do always got that on the back burner, right? Yeah. You can I always go back. Like we said, Diddy's still a good character. <gasps> what a poke, but only getting a down tilt. Don't get up. That's so hard to deal with with Ivy Source because that Astronaut covers so much. At that point, you would have wanted to actually just get up attack with how close he was. Yeah. Right now, not looking like this uh, matchup is uh, too good for yeah, Diddy Kong. It has not shown a lot of promise so far, but maybe Rivers has got something that he's not showing just yet. Yeah, Rivers maybe kind of warming up to Diddy Kong. Maybe a little rusty with him. Probably hasn't gone him all day. Just got to warm it all back up. But, you know, once, oh. those, uh, once the motor gets running. 
Oh, down tilts. One more? Yeah, but not gonna get that up smash. Not yep. really confirm anymore in this game. The Pokemon Switch really is the saving grace for Kara right there. He probably could have died. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it uh, is. Going right through the Raging Leaf. That was so important, too. Let's see if we're gonna stage Charizard. Hell no. <laughs> Charizard's pretty good now, I think. Especially with the Nair buff. No, Charizard's definitely good, but I just don't think that's the character you want to go against Diddy Kong. Yeah, you're probably right. We're already 40%. What happened? You blink and uh, Diddy Kong still has that neutral. He's able to condition and get so many grabs just because of Banana and a Monkey Flip. Yeah, and who knows if we'll see it, but I'm wondering if Rivers knows the zero to death. I feel like he knows the infinite. If, I feel like if you play Diddy at all in this game, you have to have like tried it at least once. Mm -hmm. So maybe he'll go for it once or twice. But it's really going to be up to Hikaru because you can just avoid putting yourself in a situation where it'll be important to him. Yeah. Basically, just avoid getting tripped on the platform, and then you're fine. Getting tripped on the platform, or like when you're under the platform and like low percents, Diddy's will just down throw and then wait. <laughs> yeah, they'll wait and see if you tech. Oh, down smash. Oh! Really took off of the monkey foot kicking. Yeah, Rivers, I mean, he's brought this back. It did not look this good before. Oh, that I was love so the roll. smart! That, that was, was so, so smart! He just rolled away because he knew he couldn't kill him, and then decided to wait for the tech chase. Don't do it again. Okay, thank there you. There we go. We're finally waiting. Nair is also an amazing tool in this game. It, I mean, it, it does the same thing that it did in Smash 4, but now people are using it because it's like one of his only combo tools. Yeah. Do that. They're actually doing those falling nairs, and it's really nice to see him do it. All right. He's scouting out the neutral get up, but not going to actually hit it. River's immediately just up being, not even trying to go for a jump or waiting anything. Wow, just the up throw to get rid of the banana and yeah. have a hitbox. Not actually going to kill, but really close. Uh -oh. That's not it. Oh, he's, he's wall he, No, he's dead. He's dead. No, he's not. He's wall clinging. Oh, he air dodged. He, he wall clinged, jumped up, tried to do a wall jump, and then air dodge up. Just, I think he missed his... Uh, I think he could have up you. No, once you... He monkey flip kick was the problem. You can't up you after you kick? No. Oh. Once you kick, you, you can't up you anymore. Interesting. So he's clinging there. He wanted to wall jump, and I think he missed the wall jump. Gotcha. All right, man. This is actually relatively close, all things considered. This is like one Squirtle combo away from being an even game. Uh oh. And there we go. Gets that dash attack. Uh -oh. Gets that down tilt. Uh oh. Had the double jump. Manages to air dodge the stage. They're kicking immediately. Yeah, he finally is able to retake center, but Hikaru is putting them right back at the ledge. Hikaru still sticking with the Squirtle, looking like it's working, especially for the fact that you see Rivers do a lot of these just like short hop uh, monkey flip kicks. And on a character like Ivy, that'll hit. But <gasps> on, on the platform, it works. Yeah. What year is this? Uh, it was up here, boss, bro. Like I was saying, he was sticking with Squirtle a lot because those monkey flip kicks aren't really hitting him because of the nature of Squirtle being a small character. And he switched over to the Ive Sword and then immediately, uh, immediately was not working out. Oh, I just realized since Rivers is losing, that means MVD won. And that was crazy because yes. Rivers was up 2-0. Yeah, MVD is currently playing Kameme to make it into winner's side top eight. Yeah, so now Rivers up 2-1 against the Kauru. Kauru switching over to the Wario. Yeah, it looked like the Diddy Kong was not really working out in the beginning, but again, he got that uh, banana roll in and then gets that down smash, so that was a really important stock room. Now I'm gonna switch over to the Wario. This character's been in talks for a while. Seen Tweak use him, seen Glitney use him. Yep. He actually won Albion with uh, Wario, so that was really important for him. Yeah, and Tweak has now picked up Wario again. So he's decided that Wario is the one, at least for right now. So Wario, definitely a character that is meta. Uh, that, that, uh, that monkey beat up that bike. That was incredible. That was insane. And really, with Wario, it's the comeback factor, right? The waft is huge. Yeah. And the, 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 the thing that it's going to come down to is the ability to seal out stocks without the waft. Because you still got to take at least Two. one and a half yeah. stocks without the waft. Yeah, the way you really have to think about Wario is if it's a good enough Wario, you're playing with two stocks. You're going to get up tilted at like 40. You have to hold that sometimes. What? He jumped into the F Smash, too. That was crazy. That was the weirdest sequence of events that we've seen on the stream. Oh, I love that up beat from Rivers, but immediately F tilting him away. Yeah, the thing, the thing about barrels is that... That well, was sick. The, he's dead. Yeah. But the thing about barrels is that they don't have a lot of vertical distance, but they have a ton of horizontal distance. Speaking of distance, he got so much distance off that banana throw already at 59. Who said that he couldn't do damage? Because right now, it's looking thick. That's still... Couple Wario combos awake, just needs to get that one falling there with that one up tilt. 
Yeah, and this is looking like a time like maybe, okay, we use the waft here just to get back into this game. Yeah, this is especially. <gasps> no way. What a read. Nicole tried to challenge it, but the fair was not working out, and Rivers is looking so good. Rivers is in this man's brain. Now at this point, I'm I'm thinking you might have to you might have to use that waft. You're gonna have to. Oh, you definitely need it right now. Yeah, that's the difference. You see what Wario values what. Do you want to have that waft the last second? All right, and get that one confirm at 40, or do you yeah. want to get it mid stock so you can at least get that uh, I think, damage? I in? think it comes down to the percent, right? Like oh no, start. <gasps> If you're if you're at high percent, you want to save the waft for the last stock. If your opponent, if you're at low percent, you just use the waft to even it up. You might as well. Mm -hmm. <gasps> he jumped back to the ledge so many times. Holy crap! Rivers was in that man's brain. That he jumped back to the ledge so many times. Literally, all three stocks were a hard read. He had him on the ledge, down tilted, did the F smash. The car jumped right into it. Other stock. Threw him up in the air. Charged to F-Smash going forward. The car landed right into it. Oh, there, trying yeah. to go back to stage. Jumped over. Immediate down there. Rivers. You're All crazy. things considered. Crazy run for Hikaru. He crazy. ran the gauntlet in Losers, man. Mm -hmm. That guy had to go through a lot to get to this point. Yeah, Hikaru still played phenomenally. Yeah. Even in that set, he was playing really well. But just Rivers, his, his mentality and like his mental fortitude is something else. He's able to keep you on that ledge for so long. He's able to call out these options, just make you do something bad or something he wants you to do. All right, man. So we are seeing the return of G